It's the Kosher Organic Ranchero with your host, Yo Menu. And now we are celebrating a confluence which for all intents and purposes will never happen again. The overlap of Thanksgiving and Hanukkah. And to do so, we are visiting with Rabbi Pinny Dunner of Young Israel of North Beverly Hills. And we are stuffing some turkey breast pockets with three kinds of filling. Got kosher pretzel challah, lady apples, cranberries, and almonds. Wiser family farms, heirloom potatoes, red cipollini onions, garlic and rosemary. And in the last, red Swiss chard, spinach, and dill. This show was brought to you by Whole Foods Market. Remember, you can get kosher organic products at Whole Foods Market and specialty items in every description. Conscious, thoughtful, sustainable products from Whole Foods Market. Remember Whole Foods for the holidays and for every day. Hello, my name is Rabbi Pinny Dunner. I am the rabbi and spiritual leader of Young Israel of North Beverly Hills. It's a community here in Los Angeles. And it's very exciting to be able to present to you a little bit about Hanukkah. Hanukkah is a festival that cuts to the very heart of what it means to be a Jew. And although I'm here in the United States and I was born in London, my origins are in the land of Israel. And the land of Israel is where the story of Hanukkah took place. The story of Hanukkah is one that affects Jews around the world to this day, despite the fact that it took place well over 2,000 years ago. Just a few moments ago, I was uh, looking here in the book here. It's, this is a volume of Talmud. The Talmud was composed by the rabbis in the period that followed the origins of the festival of Hanukkah. And I've found something fascinating here because the book relates to us the origins of this incredible festival. There they were, the Jews of ancient Israel. They were completely dominated by the Hellenized Greeks and their Jewish friends, and they wanted to reclaim the temple, to be able to re-establish the Jewish religion in its capital, Jerusalem. And on the festival of Hanukkah, on the 25th of Kislev, all those years ago, and it was thousands of years ago, they managed to reclaim in a famous military victory, but one which was really of spiritual consequences, the temple, the temple which had lain desolate for many years, and the Maccabees, those fearsome warriors who had gathered their strength together, managed to get control of the Holy Temple and re-establish the Jewish faith by lighting the menorah and keeping it alight despite the lack of oil, which is why we commemorate Hanukkah by lighting a menorah for eight nights. Part of the way that we celebrate Hanukkah is by using various symbols and items that are associated with the miracle of the Maccabees. One of them, of course, is the dreidel. The dreidel is a spinning top which is played with, and according to the folklore, the legend of the Jews, when they were forbidden to study Torah, they would be studying Torah, somebody would alert them to some Greek soldiers who were about to raid and discover them studying Torah, which they were for forbidden to do, and they would quickly hide the Torah that they were studying and take out this little game, this little spinning top and pretend to be playing it. It's a kind of betting game. This is a symbol of our victory, a victory of the Bible, of the Torah, over the pagan desire to destroy it and uproot the faith in God. We have here a nun, which stands for the, it's the initial letter of the word nes, miracle. We then have a gimel, gadol, a great miracle, nes gadol, a great miracle. Haya, happened. This great miracle happened. Shin, 
which stands for the word Sham, the great miracle that happened there. And that is, of course, the message of Hanukkah, the message of the great miracle of the Jewish people, that despite the terrible tragedies that we have suffered and the tortures that we've had to endure and the many attempts to destroy and annihilate the Jewish people, we still remain. It's a great miracle. The Jewish faith remains. The Jewish people endures. Okay, so we've heard a lot about Hanukkah. We're going to put aside the Talmud and we're going to talk about something else, an unusual coincidence that takes place this year. On the 28th of November, in this country, the United States of America, you're going to be celebrating that Thursday evening, the festival of Thanksgiving, a very important festival where you celebrate the bounty of God and our ability to support ourselves and feed ourselves from this wonderful country and what it produces. That very same night, for the first time in perhaps thousands of years, and for the last time in 70,000 years, if you can conceive of that great number, the first night of Hanukkah, the first of eight nights of Hanukkah, will take place as well. Now there's also another element to this festival of Thanksgiving, which is similar to the one of Hanukkah. And that is, of course, the one that President Lincoln had in mind all those years ago when he established the festival of Thanksgiving in a country that had been riven by civil war. He felt that there was a common cause, a cause of thanks, a cause of thanksgiving that all Americans could subscribe to and that all Americans could be a part of. It's a festival of unity. It's a festival where we, we snub our nose at those who'd like to tear us apart. And the same with Hanukkah. Hanukkah wasn't a battle between Jews and Greeks, it was a battle between Jews faithful to their God and Jews who weren't faithful to their God and were trying to tear Judaism apart. And the domination of the temple was one which was similar to the victory of the Civil War of the Unionists against those who wanted to destroy the Union. I'd like to tell you that Hanukkah is a festival of thanksgiving because of course we celebrate the spiritual victory, as I explained, but it, it's a physical victory. It's a victory of domination of the pagans by the Maccabees, by the Hasmoneans, by our ability, the Jews, to take back our territory, to take back our temple, to re-establish ourselves as the dominant force in the land that was holy for us. We have so much to be thankful for. Good prevails over evil. We can support ourselves. We are able to rise up above our limitations and do something extraordinary and perhaps we need a Hanukkah and a Thanksgiving to focus our minds on the fact that Thanksgiving is every day and Hanukkah is every day but let us not forget that every day we should be thanking God for everything that we have and everything that we can achieve. Happy festival.